Hey, I got a I got a comment the other day, Michael, yeah. basically saying that like my my videos are too complicated. Oh really? So I thought the I try to keep them relatively yeah. simple, and they said, "Hey man, I I love your videos and all, you know, like I like what you're doing, but uh, you should watch Michael. Like you should you should <laughs> Michael knows how to do it." And I'm like, all yeah, you're probably right. Is, Michael's like his his uh understanding is so low, and Joe's like so high that. <laughs> They're like, man, Michael just puts the cookies on the bottom shelf so everybody can reach them. Puts the cookies on the bottom shelf. Yeah. See, see what I mean? I, I do have to take notes shelf. from you. Put the cookies on the shelf. That's yeah, like a man. song. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, that's honestly though. That's that's where I've always tried to do in anything that I teach. You know, when I was a student pastor, when I was preaching, when I was you know making YouTube videos, doesn't matter if I'm explaining any kind of concept to somebody. I just try to break it down to where it's really, really easy to understand. I don't, I don't try to get too deep in the technical side of it. Mm -hmm. I just want it to be understandable. So a lot of times I'll try to use illustrations to kind of help them to visualize, oh, okay, I see what that's doing, whether I'm talking about aperture on a camera, you know, or, uh, you know, something like that, where somebody may be like, what the heck is an aperture? You know, mm -hmm. well, let's just break it down. Let's just make it, make it really simple. It's a bigger hole, you know, more light can come through. So when you start, you know, just making it real simple, I just want people to be able to watch my videos and go, oh, I get it. You know, yeah. audio doesn't have to be super complex, even though it can be. You yeah. know, I just I choose not to go down that road and I just try to keep it simple. Yeah. You know, I was on this discord channel for uh, MacBook stuff. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just gonna, you know, asking if I was making the right decision, you know, different, there's so many options, right? Yeah. And then for some reason I mentioned, hey, I measured these speakers. And then this other guy who has some Deviolet Phantoms was like, oh yeah, like he started talking to me about audio mm -hmm. in this Discord group that's, you know, supposed to be about Apple products or whatever. Yeah. And some guy came in and he's like, yeah, I was looking at some speakers, but I ended up, uh, it was too complicated. Like I was looking on YouTube and doing some research. It was too complicated and I ended up just buying some headphones and I'm happy. I was like, oh man, did we mess up? Like, <laughs> I hope you didn't watch my videos and then think yeah. like, oh, it's too complicated. But I think part of it and why I'm so adamant about good information being out there is because I think, first of all, expensive stuff, right? How many people are so caught up on like showing the most expensive thing so when you're getting into it you're like is that what i have to buy in order to get good sound because that's way out of my price range mm -hmm. like not even close to what yeah. i think is realistic and then you get dudes that are talking about stuff that i don't personally think makes that much difference and they're hyping it up as if it makes a huge difference and so now the people are like oh then i guess i gotta get that too mm -hmm. then i gotta get you know this DAC and these cables and all this stuff, and that's uh, too much. Just gonna mm -hmm. get some headphones, <laughs> you know. Um, so I don't know. I think I think you're onto something, though, Michael, about keeping it simple, because I guess it's like one of those things. Like we have a mixed class, let's just say. Yep. Sure. You know, we have people in here that are super advanced. Yep. And if I were to talk in my videos like like they're recommending, you guys would get so bored. Be like, be like oh, the God. same like Oops. beginner stuff all the time. Yeah. So right? what do you do when you have a class where like yeah. beginner, intermediate, and advanced? Yeah. Who do you appeal to? What? Like, and to me, I think it's just a good idea to mix it up. You know, make mm -hmm. some videos that are. And this is one thing that that I would love to do more of is make just some really, really, really basic videos. Uh, and it's kind of hard because, like you said, they're the people that have been with me on my channel for three years, four years. And you're like, this is stuff they already know. Mm -hmm. But what you have to realize is we've got thousands of people that are coming to our channel, subscribing, that probably are very new to this hobby. And so, you know, you and I had to learn all this stuff at one point. Mm -hmm. And so why not teach that and pass that information on to them too? But it's just hard. You've just got to mix it up, do some mm -hmm. easy stuff, do some deep dive stuff. And it is, it's hard to appeal to everybody. And sometimes you just got to make a decision like, who do you want to serve? Like what style do you want to do? Yeah, if right. you want to be just all about the numbers and all about the, you know, the graphs and charts and things like that, then go for it. That's your style. 
the good thing is there's so many different people doing the same thing that we're doing. Mm. You know, our audience has the ability to kind of get that variety, you know, based on what they like. 